Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are at Inglorious Fishing, my name's Danny and today we're going out turbot fishing. We're going to be heading to the sandbanks around the south coast of Sark to a bank called Bank de Lagodi. Now I've had plenty of turbot up there, plenty of double figures. We've had bad weather for the past few weeks, we've had horrible northeasterly winds and today they have dropped right off and it is like a mirror out there. So we're going to head out there and like I say, we're going to target these elusive flatfish and hopefully we can get one of these double figures. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Next stop will be off at the sandbanks and I'll give you a run through of all the tips and tactics how to catch these beautiful, beautiful flatfish. Let's go get them. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. So guys, we've arrived up here. We're at Sark South Coast Bank. We're on Bank de la Godin. Fantastic crossing coming up. Absolutely beautiful. It was flat calm, absolutely flat calm. Now I've got a rod down already just for the simple reason I want to get a rod in the water. It's so nice up here. I want to get one down and hopefully start fishing for some turbot. So I'll give you a run through of all the rods and the setups, the tips and the tactics, how to catch these elusive flatfish, the turbot and the brill. Uh, I'll just give you a run through of the tips that I know and hopefully that helps you with your fishing. So get this one down. We've already hit the bottom. I'm just letting a load of line out. And then we'll see what we can get. Let's get these flatties. So we're just getting the feathers down. We're just coming over the top of the bank. Yep, yeah, fish on. We're just coming over the top of the bank now. So it'd be good to get some bait while we can, while they're here. Now, I don't know if this is mackerel sand eels. I believe this is sand eels by the feel of it. Some nice big green launches, which is a fantastic turbot bait. There we go, we got two. Two live sand eels there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sand eels. As I say, they are a prime bait for turbot. Turbot, bass, you name it. They'll have it, for sure. Oh yeah, We've got mackerel on. Mackerel sand eels. Sand eel. We'll pull a few of these up while we can. Just get as much bait as we can. Wait for one of these rods to scream off now. Okay, we got a few sand eels there. I'm gonna pack this feather rod up. Cause we've come over the head now. They're not gonna get them in the deep. And uh, hopefully one of these turbot rods go off. Let's get them. Well everyone, I just had a bite on this rod, but it was a very weird bite. It was very ferocious, not like a turbot bite. Waiting to see if there's any weight. You don't want to strike turbot. Just want to wait till you feel weight. No, nope, that was definitely a bite though. That was a hundred percent a bite. Hundred percent. See if we can get it. Well everyone, just had a dogfish there. Small, small dogfish. I'll be keeping it for pot bait. Um, but yeah, not what we want. Hopefully that ain't a sign of things to come. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna get the feathers down just cause we're coming over the top of the bank now. And uh, See if we get any more sand eels or mackerel or anything like that. Because we're coming over the top of the crown, the sand eels will be sat right on top of them. So hopefully we can get some because we could do with some more bait. There we go. That was a bite. Yeah, fish on. Sand eels. Which is what we want. All mackerel, fresh mackerel would be nice. We've got one little one there, one little scallywag. Nice little sand eel there. We just need one of these turbot rods to pop off there. See if we get any more bait. Yep. Be another sand eel. Oh, and what's that on the end? Oh, it's a tiny herring. We've got a tiny herring as well. Tiny, tiny herring. 
I'll give you a show of that in a minute. Let's give you a show of that herring. Everyone. Oh. A tiny, tiny little herring. The scales that come off these things are immense. Yeah, fantastic little, if you stay still, herring. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, he'll be going on as a bait, that's for sure. Let's get these turbot. So everyone, another fish on. Feels like a dogfish or something there. I do apologize if there's water on the lens. It is spitting. I've got herring and sandio on this. Oh, whatever it is, just came off. Whatever it is, just did a head shake and just came off. I don't know what that was. It definitely did a head shake and came off. Oh, I reckon it was a dogfish. I, got, I reckon it was a dogfish. Right. We've only just started that drift. So let's get back down there and hopefully we get one of these flatties. We're trying. Fish on guys, fish on. Now this might be a tote. Not sure. I think this is a tote. Yeah, this is the tope. Tope on! Tope on! Yeah! Oh, I think it's a tope! Some nice weight here, guys, unless it's a ray. Oh, look at a bend. Big fish, guys, big fish. It's a big fish. It's raining, I'm about to drop my crisps. This could be a big right. Oh, it's going. It's going. That's a tote. Look at that guy. Woo! What a fight this is. It's stripping line, baby. Now, ah, good fish on, guys. Good fish. I've got my landing net in the way here. Yeah? Unless it's a big flatty going for the bottom. But I doubt it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Should be seeing the colour of his eyes soon. Big fish, big fish. I hope I'm getting it all on camera, sorry guys. It's gonna be under the boat. He's under the boat. What is it? Yeah, it's a taupe. It's not a bad one either. That's a big taupe. That's a big taupe. Not to the trace. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to, it's wrapped round him. Oh, he just snapped off. No! That tote was huge! 
Oh, guys, I can't believe it. Right to the boat. That was a six, seven foot tope. Easy. Easy. What had happened is the trace had wrapped round him. And as he's just struggled then, my sounder, you want to see my sounder. As he's wrapped round, it was wrapped round him about twice. And he's just snapped it off. Damn it. What a fight that was, though. I can still see him on the sounder. Down there. What a fish that was. Oh my days, that was some fight. You beauty. We've been up here for about, I don't know, a couple of hours. I've had a couple of marks here and there, but nothing like that. We're just starting to approach the bank. So uh, I'm gonna quick get a hook on and quick get it down for a turbot. Oh my days. What a fight that was. Oh God, so I just had bites then. Jason's into a fish. Fish on. We got one. I don't know what. Jason's got a dogfish. We probably got the same. Fish on. It don't feel like a turbot. It feels like a dogfish. Oh, it's raining. It's flat calm. What more could you want? Just not the rain, really, but... Still a nice flat day. We can deal with the rain. doing curls oh it's a whiting it's not a bad size whiting that not a bad whiting at all but that's not what we want that ain't a bad ain't a bad size whiting at all guys check that out nice whiting not oh he's just come off Certainly not the turbot we want, but another species. Lovely little whiting there. Fantastic. It'd be used for pot bait. You beauty. Let's get a turbot. So everyone, that's that herring I caught earlier on. We're gonna chuck that down as a whole bait and see if we can get in a film with that. Let's go. Well, everyone, fish on. And that to me is a turbot. The way that this rod took off, I'd be surprised if this ain't a turbot. That was a pure on turbot bite. Now it's not a big fish by any means. Now this had herring, uh, two fillets of herring, because the herring weren't in the best condition. And then I just did a fillet of sand eel. And we just put that on the end. And we're just coming up over Little Godine, and it's gone off. and. I reckon it's a flatty. I'm not saying it's a big one, not at all. But I reckon it is a flatty. Turbot or brill? I'd be very surprised if this isn't. Just want to keep constant pressure. Wind slowly, it's not heavy at all. Probably just a small turbot, something like that. Oh, it's a flatty. Right. Small turbot in the bag, guys. Aye, aye, turbo werbo. You beauty. That's a nice little plate slice. It'd definitely be coming home. It's a lovely little plate size turbot, guys. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful flatty. Rotten little godine there. Couldn't withstand the, uh, Fillet of the sand eel and the uh, herring. Fantastic, lovely turbot, you beauty, turbo werbo. We got one guys, we got one in the end. We probably got another hour's fishing, so we'll get the rod back down and hopefully we can get some more. Let's get them. Check the hook up there. What a hook up. Beautiful, beautiful hook up. Straight in the bottom of the mouth. 
Let's get some more. Well happy with that. Turbot. So everyone, we've got both rods out there. Just thought I'd give you a run through of some of the bait that I'm using. I'm using mackerel, which I'm just slicing into fillets. And then all I'm doing is just cutting the belly and using the silver bit of the belly. And also I've been feathering up some sand eels. And then what I do is I just flapper them. So I take out the backbone so they flap it like that. Take off the tail and then we just hook them through the top of the head. And that is a fantastic turbot bait, as you can see. That flapping around, that's definitely going to attract the turbot. There's a bit of fog out here. I'll give you a run through of the rods and the setups in a little while. But yeah, we're out here and we're hoping to catch another one of those turbot. There's the other one. Also, we've been catching some herring as well. So that's what I caught that turbot on, uh, a fillet of that and some sand eels. So I'm going to do the same again and hopefully we can get another. Let's get them. You beauty. Quick run through of the reel. We've got the Penn Squall 2s on. They're the 20 level wines. I don't know why that's going. A bit of line going on that one. I don't know why that is. And yeah, we're using the Ugly Stick GX2s. Fantastic rods. I absolutely love them. 20 to 30 pound class. They're a bit heavy for what we're using them for, but I use these because they're a good all rounder for tote, turbot, you name it. So, 8 inch boom, 8 ounce weight, 6 foot trace, 4 0 hooks. Let's get them. Possible fish on. Probably a gurnard or something like that. Don't feel like a turbot. Dogfish or something along those lines, I reckon. Maybe a whiting. Don't know, but we're only going to go up for one last drift. And then what we're going to do is go and do the crab pots. Yeah. And again, another whiting. Not what we want. We've got up for one more last drift. And then uh, see if we can get a turbot. If not, like I say, we're going to go do the crab and the lobster pots because I haven't done them for a while. So another fine whiting. Let's go up for one last one. So everyone, that's it. That's the end of the trip. Well, not the end of the trip yet. We're going to go and do the lobster and crab pots, but it's the end of the turbot fishing. One lovely little turbot. Got something to show for it. Not too much, but uh, yeah, let's start making our way to the crab pots and the lobster pots, and hopefully we got something in there. Turbo Werbo, now lobster and crab time. Let's go get it. So everyone, we've made it to the crab pots. I don't know what we're gonna have. There wasn't a lot of bait in them, so I'm not expecting a lot. If we can get one lobster and a few spider crabs, I'm gonna be happy. So uh, let's get straight onto it and let's get into that first pot. Let's get them. one let's see how we do on this string so we had one little turbot on that trip not the best not the worst at least we managed to get one and now hopefully like i say we get a few lobsters and a few spideys that'll be nice i think these are ink whales i'm not quite sure let's see what's in them though first pot should be here any second jeez that is full of spider crabs there's some good ones in there as well. There is some lovely crab. Oh, we got a whole inkwell full of spider crabs. She's absolutely stuffed with keeper spider crabs, which is great. See if this second inkwell is stuffed. It's got some spiders in. One or two keepers in there. Beauty. Right, let's get you off the mount. And let's show you these crabs. I do apologise for any water on the lens, it's raining. 
So, first inkwell there, full of spider crabs, and there are some absolute beauties in there. Some giants, check them out. In the second pot, we've still got some more. So I'm gonna get you back in the mountain, we're empty these out. So, first pot, keep up, one, too small, too small. Number two. Another keeper there. That's number three. Another keeper there. That's number four. Four keepers already. That one's too small. Just gonna get the dogfish and everything out and the whiting and the gurnard because we use that for bait. Go. Right, second pot. That's a keeper. Big giant spider crabs. One, that one's too small. Keeper, that's two. Too small. Too small. That one's not a bad one. I've got lens going all over the camera. Nothing worse than rain when you're trying to film. We've got loads of spiders. That one's the biggest, for sure. Easy. And that one there, that is a giant, giant spider crab. Right, we've got water on the lens, I'm going to wipe the camera, we'll bake these up and get onto that next set. Got a bongo crab already. That's the first string done, let's get this second one. Number two. Come on, you lobsters. That's what we want, the lobsters. Let's get this second string off. Not a lot in there. A couple of small brown crabs, a small lobster, and a big spider crab. Not very good. What we got? Give me a lobster. We've got absolutely nothing, nothing at all. Not a lot in the first pot either. Just gonna quick show you this. We've got a small, 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 tiny lobster. He's gonna have to go back. There's nowhere near big enough. A nice spider crab. He'll be coming out. Nice spider to take out. Small brown crab, brown edible crab. Soft actually, you can tell that by how clear it is on the bottom. One, two, three of them. And a small spider crab. And get this out, get onto that third set. Okay, number two, let's get the third one. Number three. Now, top tip when you're lobster fishing, I say it on every video. Please, 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 watch this rope. Because if that goes round your leg, while you're playing them out or something like that, you ain't coming back. And that, that's just the honest truth. You ain't coming back. It's 40 foot deep here. If that was wrapped around your leg, I doubt very much that you'll be able to get it untangled. So just watch yourself, guys. Just watch yourself. 
take your time, go slow, then there's no mistakes. First pot's gonna be here any second. And it's the amateur pot. We got nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Second pot's here. Nothing in this string. When I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. Not one fish, so. I'm gonna get these baited up and we'll get onto that fourth set. Let's get onto that fourth one. Right. Number four, give us a lobster. Just a few small spider crabs. And when I say they're small, they're small. The inkwell certainly got the spideys. Right, second pot, give us a lobster. we've got absolutely nothing again so not very good on the crab pot front that's for sure all we've got is one two small spider crabs and we won't be wanting them they're too small look he's pinching oh, he pinched me he got me he got me a beauty ah right ah that well hurt right let's get these baited up and get onto that fifth set Get number five. Number five. We want lobsters, guys. We want lobsters. We're right on the reef here. Either we're going to do good or we're going to do very rubbish. We didn't do very good at all. One small brown crab. Oh, not very good. Right, I think the second pot is the smash pot. Let's see how we do with that. We've got a few spiders in. Not very good, really. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Nice spider there. That'll be a keeper. That's a keeper, it's two spiders. That one is far too small, that one. And so is that one. And all in, in the second pot, all we got is a small brown edible crab. So I'm not gonna bother showing you that. We'll bake these up get onto those others. Okay, let's get onto these others. Okay, right, number six. Not very good on the lobster front. Not very good at all. Hopefully something picks up. Four more strings to do. I've got a giant spider crab that's stuck in the neck. One spider, that's it. Not very good. See what this second pot brings us. You never know. Very poor, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We've got absolutely nothing. Oh, not very good in that first pot. Second pot, we have a giant spider. I don't even know how he fit in. There we are. Get out. Nice little spider crab there. I'm right next to a reef. I need to back up. There's a rock right in front of me. Right. 
We're going to bait these off anyway, guys. We'll get on to that seventh set. That's number six. Let's get on to number seven. Number seven. Don't know what we're gonna have in here. There's a lot of weed on this road. Hopefully we at least get one lobster. Lots of spiders. No lobster yet. Seems to be a little bit hitched it is. Either that or it's that full of lobsters it can't lift it up. I'd like to go with the latter. One decent spider. The rest are just all too small. Get the second one up. I see three lobsters, but I think they're all too small. And we've got three baby lobsters in there. One, two, three baby lobsters but they're all too small. So uh, they're gonna be going back. One, two, three. Small spider crab. No good. And then the second pot, too small, too small, too small. Not too small. We'll have that, nice crab. Right, well I'm gonna bake these up and we'll go over to the other side and get onto those last two sets. Let's get them. Okay, let's go get those others. Oh God. Number eight. So I think these are inkwells, these. Oh, well, I've got a big dead bullos in here, look. He tried to go in and get the bait and he's caught himself and he's killed himself. Look, he's dead. Strangled himself around the neck. Look at that. Big bullocks, dead. We'll have to use him for pot bait. That's a big one as well. The size of that. Big dead bullocks. We'll use him for pot bait. What happened is that he's obviously tried to get the mackerel out from behind the band and his head's got caught in the actual bait band. So he's suffocated. But he won't go to waste. We'll use him for pot bait. We'll chop him up. We chop it up, then we'll just use bits of it and then like I say, we'll just use that for pot bait. He'll do a fair few pots, that's for sure. He stinks, so he's been there a while. Second pot, hasn't got a bullos in. Hasn't really got a lot in. One noise crab. That one's too small. And another small spider crab. Well, that was a bit of a new one. I've never had a bull ass hanging out of the inkwell like that. I was just about to say, I haven't got no pot bait, but I'm going to start cutting up some of this bull ass. We'll bake these up and get onto that last set. Okay, let's get that last set. It's just in front of us. OK, 
Okay, last set. All right, we've had one turbot, two whiting, a few little lobsters, lots and lots of uh, spider crabs, a dead bullos. Let's see what this last string will bring off. You never know. Could have a conger hanging out dead. Show me the lobsters. That's what I say, guys. Show me the lobsters. First pot be coming off any second. It feels heavy. Either that or the bottom pot's stuck on the seabed. Full of lobsters, I reckon. That's why it's so heavy. And there is a conger eel in there. Would you add them and eve it? I did so. You watch, you'll have a conger in. It's got a conger eel. I'm going to let that go because I hate those things. All the crabs are too small. We'll let the conger eel go. Far too small, then. Far too small. Okay, so it's the last pot. Let's see what it bring us. What did I say about a dead conger? We have got a dead conger in the pots. Check this out. Oh, and he stinks. Dead, dead conger eel. Get out. Oh, that's rough. And all we got is two spider. That's the last set. Let's start making our way in. everybody we're back into port now I've cleaned down the boat one small turbo werbo there that was it didn't have many bites of, well we did have lots of bites just not many flatfish uh, lots of dogfish we had that taupe whiting and we managed to dwindle out one small turbot so I hope you enjoyed the channel and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do really enjoy it please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and that way you'll never miss any of my fishing adventures We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Turbo Werbos. I'm going, I'm going for them again tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. We'll go up Alderney tomorrow. See you next time. Thanks for watching.